So I get this question a lot. What is the tallest tire you could fit on a 2019 Honda Passport? In this video, I finally answer that question. And the cool thing is, this answer also applies to the 2016 Plus Honda Pilot and the 17 Plus Honda Ridgeline. And that's because from the middle of the vehicles forward, they're all the same. This means that the clearance at your front wheel well is going to be similar, and this just happens to be the place where you're going to run into clearance issues. Now before we get into all that, we need to talk about the different types of tires. One of these is an all-terrain, and I'll give you a hint, it's the one with the squared off shoulders. If you guess this tire, then you are correct. This more aggressive type of tire, even in the same size, won't fit as easily as a highway terrain or an all-season tire. Here's my friend Peter, aka Scout Pass, on Instagram. He's running the Falcon Wall Peak AT3s in 265-60 R18. This is a 30.5 inch tire. He gets slight rubbing at full lock. This means that this is the biggest all-terrain tire that you could run without modification. Also, I'm 90% sure that a highway terrain or all-season of the same tire size won't rub. One thing that you may have realized is that your Honda Passport does not come with 18-inch wheels like this. They only come in 20s. The good news is that the lower trims of the Honda Pilot and the Ridgeline have an 18-inch option. This means that you could find someone to trade with, or you might find a cost-effective set on Craigslist or any other market app. I highly recommend you get rid of your 20-inch wheels, because on the trail, they will get wrecked. So what about installing a lift kit? That should help fit larger tires, right? Well, actually the answer is no. You would need substantially more lift to clear the area that the tire is making contact with. You can fit larger tires, but it will require cutting into the wheel well. This is a common practice for, let's say, Toyota trucks. I posted about this on my Instagram account. Now I know 98% of you guys and gals won't be willing to do this, so stick around till the end of the video for a solution on how you can mount taller and larger tires without having to cut. For those of you that have a Dremel and a Dream, this video clip is for you. Please do that at your own risk, know what you're doing, know what you're getting yourself into, but at the end, this is what you come up with, 2 inch taller tires. I'm sure we all have various reasons for increasing tire height, but for me personally, I wanted to increase the clearance at my lower control arms, and taller tires is the only way to do that. Whoa, hold on, let's look at that again. I got super close to hitting my lower control arm. That extra one inch of clearance down there really came in handy. On Instagram, Sport Trooper was able to run 32.1 inch tires. He achieved this with a two inch lift, cutting his wheel well, and using two inch spacers, wheel spacers. The result is pretty awesome. Now, if you want to fit 32.1 inch tires and you don't want to cut, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The company called Trax to USA, based out of Arizona, makes a bunch of things for the Honda vehicles. Actually, the owner of the company owns a Honda Ridgeline. As you can see here, they designed an axle relocation kit. This brings the front tires forward about one inch, and this will allow you to run that 32.1 inch tire without rubbing. By the way, I'm not affiliated with Traxta in any way. They didn't give me anything for free. I have no reason to promote them. I just appreciate that they do the research and development to make these awesome products. They are by far the front runners in research and development for the Honda light trucks, which is the Passport, Pilot, and the Ridgeline. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Rear lockers and low gear transfer case, please. <laughs> Just kidding. But that would be cool. 
I almost forgot to mention that increasing your tire size is going to decrease your crawl ratio. And if you watch my channel, John DZ Adventuring, you, you should be familiar with that term crawl ratio. I use it a lot. Take a look at this chart and familiarize yourself with how taller tires will affect your Honda light truck. There's two different transmissions. The lower trim Honda Pilots have the Honda 6 speed. So does the Ridgeline from 2017 to 19. The upper trim Honda Pilots and the Honda Passport and the 2020 Honda Ridgeline have the ZF9 speed. So enough of all that nerd talk, let's go, let me just show you what taller tires will do. In this video clip right here, I am driving uphill up a chunky trail with just two inch taller tires, no lift. Got it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're kind of, you're probably high centered there. And your hitch is, your hitch is in the ground there. <laughs> now I want to make sure you realize that you could get to many places with just going with a one inch taller tire. That's gonna give you a half inch of lift, half an inch more at the lower control arms. You'll be able to go beyond the city park and up a dirt road. The US Forest Service considers this a moderate trail. It's uh, rated a blue square. A one inch taller tire will give a Honda Passport Subaru levels of ground clearance, which is 8.7 inches. The all wheel drive system in the Honda light trucks is so capable. It's arguably one of the best on the market right now. However, the potential has to be unlocked by increasing ground clearance. Right now I have 11, but I'm thinking about going up to 13. Now, if you want to take on a harder trail, this, this one's actually considered hard by trailsoffroad.com, then yeah, you probably should run as tall of a tire as possible. I'm running a 32 inch tire, but I think the max would be about a 33 inch tire. Speaking of 33 inch tires, this Lexus GX is running them. And hey, this, this guy kind of looks familiar. I think he used to drive a Subaru, a burgundy one. <laughs> yeah, just kidding, that's Dak Lack photo. Yes, he does have a new ride. And man, that thing looks good. This is footage from a future episode. Here I test out the Honda Passport with disconnected rear sway bars. The increase was pretty noticeable.
That does it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun on your adventures. At least whenever we're allowed to adventure again. Highway terrains, baby. <laughs> Highway terrains. But after you get past this, how much further can you go? <laughs> the trail continues up the little path over there. It's kind of hard to see, but. Okay. I see. Nice. All right, but this is like definitely like. You want to 